Well, I'm going to try to do some solar cooking. I'm going to make a batch of uh, scones and save three or four of them from the oven and put them out and try to cook them in the solar oven. Uh, if you're interested in this particular scone recipe, it is on my blog. And if you're watching this video only through YouTube rather than the blog, you can go to my YouTube channel page and there's a link to the blog. The only ingredient that's a bit different that you'll need uh, is self-rising flour. And I use uh, Brody's self-rising flour, which down here in the Maritimes anyway, you can get at Soapy's. It's what the English call SR flour. Well, there's the scones made and ready for the two kinds of ovens. The ones in the little black roasting pan here will be going in the solar oven, and the ones on the cookie sheet covered with uh, parchment paper are ready to go in the 400 degree gas oven. The instructions that came with the uh, solar oven says that you can bake bread and all that sort of thing in the oven, but not to expect it to brown because it's cooking at a lower temperature over a longer period of time. It suggested adding some butter or, um, excuse me, adding some uh, milk or egg to the top of them, so I think I may put a little milk on top of these to see if they do brown a bit. Interesting to see what comes out anyway. Well, I added a little milk to the top of the scones, and then you put the roasting pan inside of a turkey roasting bag. And the instructions that came with the solar oven doesn't really go into any great detail as to why you do that, but I presume it must help retain the heat inside the, the roaster. And we are ready to go outside and set up the oven. Well, it's mostly clear blue sky, a few high wispy clouds, and the forecast is for a mostly sunny day, so hopefully I've chosen a good day to do this. In the booklet, it says that uh, the best time for the use of the solar oven is from 10 o'clock in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. The sun is at the best angle at that time. <laughs> and <laughs> it doesn't blow over like that once I get the roaster in it. But uh, as you can see, it's a very slight sort of a rig made out of a Mylar-like product. It just pops together and you use clothespins to hold it together around here at the edge. Anyway, I'll put the roasting pan on it and we'll see what happens. It's about 10 to 11. I'm just adding the scones to the solar oven and angling it to face the sun which is something I'll have to check on several times throughout the day. As the sun moves, this needs to be turned a little bit. The company that sells this, which I will also, by the way, put a link to on the blog, um, recommends it for backpackers and that sort of thing. Um, I guess you'd have to, if you were camping or backpacking, you're going to cook with this, you'd have to be prepared to stop for most of the day. But uh, anyway, I've always wanted to try one, so I bought this little toy to give it a try and see what happens. Well, this is what they look like after 10 minutes in a 450 degree oven. Now I'll have to wait to see what they look like after about four hours in the solar oven, I guess. Well, it's been sitting out here in the sun for about 45 minutes, and I've just come back to see if it needs to be angled a little better for the sun. I don't think it does yet. But the bag is actually puffed out with hot air. It was sort of collapsed and touching the roaster when I put it in there. And if you push down and touch the surface of the roaster, it is very hot. I don't know what exactly what the temperature would be in there, but uh, it certainly is much hotter than it would be if you just left it sitting out in the sun on its own. I think more than 10 seconds or so and you'd burn your finger on it. Well, it's been two hours and a half, and all of a sudden I had a flash. <laughs> I forgot to do something. It suggests that you put a couple of uh, like mason jar bottle rings under it so that air will circulate around. So I've come out, opened the thing up, and I'm going to put those under. I've already had a peek and touched the scones. They are, I would say, pretty well cooked. Uh, they didn't rise like the ones in the house, but I wasn't expecting that they would. Uh, what makes these things rise quickly in the oven is called oven spring. It's the high temperature all of a sudden, and they go in a 450 degree oven, they, they really expand quickly, so I wasn't expecting that to happen, but these are getting sort of a golden brown, and, and to the touch, they feel partially done. Anyway, I'm going to uh, put bottle rings under and leave it for another hour or so. 
Well, there it is set up with the bottle rings under it. You put the bottle rings under the pan inside of the bag. I guess the idea is so that the heat will cir circulate you know, equally around the entire pot. So perhaps I would have got a little more rise out of the uh, scones if I had done it that way. But anyway, they appear to be, I would say, practically cooked. I'll, another hour or so, I'll take them over and we'll have a taste test. Well, it's been four hours, so I guess it's now or never. I'm going to take this inside and have a look at what happened. Well, that's a comparison of what the oven-baked ones in back and the ones in the solar oven in front look like. Uh, I guess I would say they're done. I haven't cut them open yet. They certainly didn't rise as much. They did sort of turn a brown color, perhaps even browner than the, the ones out of the regular oven. I'll cut one open and see what I think. Well, the two pieces on the top of the plate are from the solar oven, and the two pieces on the bottom of the plate are a small scone that came out of the regular gas oven. And as far as the interior appearance of them, it's almost identical, so it definitely did cook them. Now to taste them and see what I think. Well, there they are spread with yogurt cheese and some homemade red currant jelly. I'll try the... Uh, solar oven one, because I already know what the other ones taste like. I like them. Very good. So I guess I've proven if you have all the time in the world, all day to spare, you can bake scones in a solar oven.